welcome back to my channel. This is Dwight with Dwight Pours. We are back in my studio and we're going to do another pour today. Um, as you can see, the wall behind me is blank. I have taken down the painting and I'm going to start varnishing. The weather is finally warming up so I can get some varnishing done out in my garage. So today I'm going to do a 24 by 36 canvas uh, dump and swirl and I'm going to choose a lot of color. I'm going to use oranges and reds, uh, maybe a little bit of cream, some blue, some citron green. And that's going to be our color palette for today. So in the next segment of this um, video, you will see um, yesterday's painting. I'm going to go over the touch-ups that I'm going to do. And then I do the touch-ups and then um, I'll show you the dried results of that. And then I'll show you the paints for today's pour and we'll get started. Okay, hold on. We'll see you in a second. Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back in my studio. It is um, Sunday and my painting from yesterday dried. And I'm going to go and do some touch-ups, and I'm going to show you first what I'm going to do. So I want you to take in sort of how it looks at this moment. And I'm going to come in, and I'm going to clean up by just highlighting all these cells around the negative space. I'm not going to change the color. I'm just going to make them pop. And then I'm going to clean some of the speckles, as you see, in the negative space. Okay, so I'm going to put this on time-lapse and we'll get started in just a moment. Here's the final result. I did my touch-ups and yeah, here we go. Let me just show you a little bit what it looks like up close. I have some reflection of the sun, but I filled in these just lightly with some color around the negative space. They tend to get washed out. There we go. And so that's my finished results. And I also painted some of the inside here. You can see some of the blotchiness, but when I varnish it, it'll all clear up. Okay, guys, hold on. We're going to start a pour in just a second. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Howdy, howdy. Here I am back in the studio. And these are the colors I'm going to be using today. So I hope that they work out well. They look kind of exciting. So I'm going to start here with my typical dump paint. And that is Artist Sloft Soft Body Black. And that's mixed like the other paints. One part paint, two to three parts Floetrol. A drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium and water to thin. Now these colors here, um, I put them together in this order specifically because uh, of how they fall on the color wheel. So I've started with the orange, red, sort of the deeper purpley plum color. I threw in this color, I'll show you in a minute, it's rose gold uh, to break things up, then the blue, the greenish yellow, and then the greenish blue. So hopefully this is a great combination. We'll see in a few minutes now, won't we? So the first color is Artist Loft. It's metallic um, orange. It's just their regular brand. And then I have um, Arteza, and that's pearl raspberry red right there. And then I'm going to throw some Extreme Sheen in the middle, and that's berry. It's a beautiful color. And like I mentioned, there's Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics, Rose Gold, sort of to break things up. And then Ice Blue from Deco Arts Dazzling, Dazzling Metallics. I also have Deco Arts Citron Green, which is one of my other favorite colors. And then Deco Arts Peacock Teal that will go on top. So this is a 24 by 36 canvas. Um, it's repurposed from an old pour that just wasn't sitting well with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour over it and do some really nice colors and um, fingers crossed, we'll have a great result. Okay guys, sit back and hold on just a second, we'll get started.
So guys, once again, I am going to um, scrape this painting. I know I hear you gasping, I'm gasping as well, but let me tell you why. Um, I have not learned my lesson when it comes to pouring over a used canvas. Um, sometimes I can do it once, but I think this canvas I poured over a couple of times and so it's sagging. Now I'm a perfectionist, if you don't know that already, and I'll tell you why this isn't working for me. There's a sag in this painting. As you can see, the cells are all coming down through here and they're all stretched over here. Now some of you might say that looks great, it looks pretty cool. I don't disagree with you, but I, I can guarantee you that this will not dry as nice as it looks maybe right now. And what I'm gonna do to prove that to you is I'm gonna move it to another corner of my studio and I'm going to get a new canvas and level it and get it ready. And we're gonna use the exact same colors. I've got them ready to be mixed and we'll do this pour again because these colors were fabulous. Um, so hold on, bear with me. It's kind of cool too. Um, but yeah, see how those cells are all stretched out. That means they're moving towards the weight in the center of this canvas. So hold on, we'll get this right and um, I'll join, um, well, you'll join me in a few moments. Okay, guys, what do you think of this? I like it. <laughs> Citron green, it never fails. I love the way it looks around here and the wisps going through here. This has one of the most beautiful movements that I've seen in any of my paintings recently. I'm so thrilled. So let me show you what happened over here. This was the one I told you about. As you can see right there, see? All, it just started pooling. Uh, the colors in this one were fabulous as well, but unfortunately, it's not a keep up. So, yeah, let me show you some of the cells in here. I, I love these streamers. I, yeah, I'm very happy. It's pretty cool. The negative space is tiny which rarely happens for me. 
I got a few little speckles in there. Um, I'm just probably going to highlight some through here. Oops, let me focus here. Through here and around through here. But other than that, there's not much else I'm going to do to this painting. The colors are vivid and fantastic. So, yeah. I actually like it like this. I just think it, it has such great movement. And, um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful once it dries and once I can actually varnish it. Wow, it's really fabulous. Okay, guys, I'm kind of happy. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I don't think I'll do one tomorrow, so I may not get to doing another one until later this week. But you guys have a great start to your week. And um, thanks for watching. See you soon.